I'm Jo from Specialist Language Courses. We are OET Premium Preparation Providers, which means we are experienced and skilled in what we do, helping people achieve success in the OET exam. So in today's video, we're going to take a look at the strategies you can use for listening B. All the materials we look at are available on our online course Reach OETB, link below. Today, we're going to take a look at a brief overview of the listening exam, specifically listening B, how to approach listening B and study tips. Here is an overview of the listening test. There are three parts to the listening test. In this video, we're going to take a closer look at part B, which contains six monologues or dialogues with three option multiple choice questions. And it lasts for about 10 minutes. So what is the exam format of part B? There will be six different extracts, each about a minute long. There are six multiple choice questions, one for each extract, with three options, A, B or C and each extract will be a different topic and setting. The context of the conversation will always be provided. Let's take a look at some example question types you might receive in listening part B. You may have a gist question where you need to focus on the overall message of the audio. An example question could be, what are the doctors talking about? You could also have a question about detail, such as, what symptom has the patient recently developed? Here, you would need to listen for more specific information. Another question type is course of action, where you should listen for what the healthcare professional will do at a certain point in time. So here, we can see an example in this question. What will the nurse do today? How should you approach listening part B? Read the context given as a reference. Take advantage of the time given before the audio starts to understand the question and read the options and notice the differences. Be sure to listen to all of the audio before marking your answer. Let's do a sample question together now. First, let's read the context. You hear a nurse explaining wound care to a patient. So we know what kind of explanation we're going to hear. Now let's look at the question. What does she explain to the patient? So we know she's explaining something about wound care to the patient. What is it? Now we need to notice the differences between the options in A, B and C. A, why the dressing will be used at home. B, how to manage the dressing at home or C, why alginate dressings are used at home. So why these types of dressings are generally used in this context. Let's listen to the audio and choose the answer which best fits. Mrs. Davidson, I've got your new dressings here. I'll explain them to you so you'll know what to do when you go home. The dressings are alginate dressings and there are a few things you need to know before you use them. The dressings are made of sodium and calcium fibres, which have come from a special seaweed. We're going to use the dressings on the ulcer on your lower leg, as the previous dressings haven't helped to heal the ulcer. Well, alginate dressings are very effective in clearing out wounds without making them dry. They'll also protect your ulcer from harmful bacteria, which can cause infection and stop the wound from healing. There are a few things you need to be aware of when you use these dressings. The first thing is to dampen the dressing with saline to make it easier to remove. The alginate forms a type of gel, which is usually easy to clean off. Cover the alginate dressing with a non-stick pad and change the dressing every two to three days. Option B is the correct answer. Let's look at why. At the beginning of the audio, we can see that the topic of managing the dressings at home is introduced. This is supported at the end of the conversation with instructions on how to remove them, what to cover the dressing with, and how often it needs to be changed, clearly indicating option B. If we look at option A, we can see why this is not the correct answer. Information is given that the dressings will be used at home, but not why they will be used. 
Option C is also incorrect. Information is given here about why alginate dressings are used, but there is no reference as to why they are used at home. How can you prepare for listening part B? You can practice listening to people talking in the workplace. This is if you are currently working in an English speaking environment. If not, you can use healthcare training videos on the internet. Also, try and create a list of verbs commonly used in the workplace and commonly used in listening part B, which are usually quite formal, and learn their meaning. Top tips for listening part B. Use the context given as reference and make sure you understand the question. Underline keywords in the question and options and listen to the whole audio before choosing the answer. So thanks for watching. If you would like more strategies and tips on how to prepare for the OET exam, check out our website. You will also find handouts which you can download with all the information that we talked about today. Link below. Please like and share so we can help more people achieve success in the OET exam. Don't forget to subscribe for more videos like this. Bye!